The New York City traffic, it's insanely busy in the morning. Several days ago, while I was testing the new Veltric Nomad Fat Tire electric bike, I saw this cargo E-Quad and I had to stop the guy and ask him about it. Can we stop somewhere for a second? Yeah, sure. I review electric bikes and anything electric. Okay. And I saw USPS or FedEx or oh no, UPS yeah, like this. UPS, but I don't see them in the city. But this, I'm like, holy, and this yeah, is UPS, so cool. Look at that. The other day, they went and they, um, they had a test run the other day, and I didn't see them. There was two of them. They were going up and down the city getting a feel of the bike. So the motor is in the back. It is pedal assisted. They go up to 15 miles an hour. Only 15, right? Yeah, maximum. But I can go much faster, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, okay, yeah, let, let's, let's stop somewhere. Can I stop on the left somewhere? Yeah, you can like after, yeah. Are you going to make it? Oh, perfect. I was just, uh, you know, riding, testing this uh, Velotrek. Uh, model and I saw this in the city and I uh, heard about them online. I saw them online, but um, I never got a chance to, to see one in person and uh, I saw this uh, Nice gentleman here driving this awesome awesome machine and I'm like I have to stop him and check it out So tell me everything about this thing. <laughs> so I mean, I'm still fairly new to the bike myself I've been only riding it since about September um, NPD is a logistics company. They're based out of New Jersey um, so pretty much it is pedal assisted, it goes up to 15 miles an hour. You have your throttle right over here to assist you when you're going uphill. Um, especially with the cargo right over here, sometimes we do get large loads that, that are a lot heavy and it's a little strenuous on the bike when we go up and down hill. So we have the throttle assist to help us out a little bit here. Um, the gearbox is down here in the back, it's kind of hard to kind of tell. But uh, the electrical wiring and all the components in the computer system is right over here in this box also. Um, other than that, we just finished doing uh, the brakes just recently and only new to me that I thought it was only going to be like one chamber for one brake. No, this one side is going to be for the front, this left side is going to be for the rear. For changing the mineral oil, it was, uh, it, was, it was quite a challenge because we have to use the syringes on here, here, as well as up here, just to make sure we get all that air right out of there. But how was the comfort? How was the power? How was like... Uh... It's comfortable. It's very comfortable. I have no issues whatsoever. Um, the only difference is just, it's a little bit bulky, but that, what can you do? It's not. It's... You almost got, you almost cleared between the car, and this yeah. is like so tiny, and look how much traffic is in the city. Yeah. And so, you're able to get anywhere with yeah, this thing. for the most part, uh, but sometimes you do have uh, the guys that kind of like park off a little to the side, yeah. so it makes it difficult for me, and I'm still in standstill traffic. But, but bike lane fits perfectly look yeah. at that it fits Very perfectly perfect in the bike lane i never had any issues at all with the bike lane we do have the horn right over here so i can let anybody know that i'm actually coming on the way oh nice um and what's the what's the capacity of the battery how much range do you get um well, i'm not 100 percent sure on that i do know we do deliveries up and down the city um so anywhere from uptown back to downtown like more east side canal street and such like that um, That's I almost like seven miles, I think, just, around. Just about. I want to say if I if I run all day for about eight hours, I travel close to maybe ten miles tops total. And that's enough for you. Yeah. And how we much? We don't do that much delivery, so. And let's say how much now. weight can you carry in the back? Like in hundreds well, of pounds. Uh, me and my friend, <laughs> we did we did a test run. I actually sat in the back. I myself, I am uh, 220 pounds, so I sat in the back. My friend rode in the front, so. It carried me perfectly fine. Uh, I want to say the heaviest load I've carried was 750 pounds. I don't, I don't know if it can hold a lot more weight than that, but I was able to drive through the city with no, with no problem. And it was it was a lot of small boxes, so all that weight just kind of like added up. I, so yeah. I don't know if it was like an accurate weight, but when they give us our deliveries, they give us an estimate uh, according to the customer. Yeah. But this is new. You guys still testing, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, for me, this is my first time riding. Like I said, uh, I started in September, but the company's had these bikes for about two years now. What? Yeah, so... First time seeing this. Yeah, <laughs> they've, they've had this for about two years now, and they only have two that they use. So they're trying to push to get more, but they want to get more use out of it, so... I love how this is all encased, and, like, you, you can probably put side panels and, like, get away from the rain, and, like, this is all... Oh, it's really good in the rain. I, I oh, you have had... suspension also. Look mm -hmm. at that. Yeah, so when I hit bumps, I don't really... I don't feel it at all. 
Yeah, man, this is super, super cool. You have covers, like defenders, and I believe this is all like composite. Yeah, this is composite, yeah. very light. Yeah. yeah, and this is like yeah, a refrigerator, right? Take a look. We can get food also, I think, yeah. in here. Yeah, this is insane. New York is going crazy. This is really good. Yeah, they do everything from food deliveries to packages, letters, anything you can think of. So efficient. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yay, <laughs> I'm so excited. Yeah, so like if you ever have any shelving units, you could probably like organize it a lot more. You can make a tiny home and just like yeah, extend just extend like this and yeah. slip inside. Yeah, <laughs> yeah this yeah, is yeah. awesome. And it's guys, this is so light. This is like so light and 700 pounds. This is insane. You have a spare tire. Yep. This is awesome, man. Yeah, thank you so much for stopping by and showing me this uh, awesome vehicle. Yeah, Hopefully uh, soon I can give it a try. I feel like this is super, super cool, guys. And it looks cool. It's green. Uh, it's very efficient, uh, versatile. You can do so many things with this thing. Like all the space, you can actually, uh, you have too much space for in the cabin. You can yeah. convert and, and. Also, you have like, your turn signals in the back. So turn signals so that You have your headlights in the front. Yeah, I see that. Yeah, headlights. I don't see the turning Oh, turning signals around. Oh, this is super cool. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, I feel like inside you have so much more space you can maybe put shelves here and put more envelopes oh, like yeah. more storage and stuff yeah, like right now we're trying to see if we can weatherproof it that way when it gets like a lot colder outside or oh, yeah. like when it snows probably put like a little guard over here that way you don't get too much to get the wind out yeah. yeah yeah you have mirrors this is awesome this is perfect man thank you so much thank you so much for for stopping by and showing me this uh, awesome vehicle and hopefully i can try it soon